Hello, welcome to the Hall of History. I'm so glad you were able to join us today. It's a beautiful sunny day here in the village of Boystown. And today we're going to learn about the evolution of our Boystown brand and symbol that Father Flang first created back in 1920s. And our very first symbol Father Flanagan had for Boystown was called the Homeless Boy. We have an image here of Father Flanagan with Jimmy Webster, the young man who created the image, right here in the village of Boystown. That was located uh, in our sunken garden up by our Father Flanagan house that we have today. Jimmy created this special statue out of plaster of Paris. And Father Flanagan liked it because it represented the homeless children that were coming to Boystown. And the hands of the child were showing, please help me and, and continue his ministry of of working with homeless children. The only problem was uh, Jimmy, when he created this, he used plaster of Paris. And after about five, 10 years, it started to go to pieces. So Father Flan in 1943 said, we need to bring that inside to preserve it. And at that time, the workmen tried to pick it up and it fell into a million pieces and we lost our brand overnight. So Father Flanagan had to find a new brand for the village of Boystown. And then in the 1960s, one of our boys created a little model of it, and we were very lucky we were able to uh, have that preserved, and we wanted to put it on display, so that's why we brought it. This is a very special representation of it, because the original statue is long gone. Father Flanagan used the image when he talked about the romance of the homeless boy, and that was his belief uh, that people in America at that time, 20s and 30s, uh, thought children who were homeless were just having the best time of their lives, living on the streets and were free and did not have to worry about going to school. But he knew the truth. Homeless children were often exploited, did not have a happy existence, and that's why he wanted to dispel that belief and say that's why Boys Town was, was very important. Uh, in 1943, after this original statue was, was destroyed, Father Flanagan saw in a magazine an image of a boy carrying another boy, and it reminded him of an original image from 1920 of two boys here in the village of Boys Town. And he said, I want to recreate that and make that our symbol for Boys Town. So in the Hall of History, we have a very special painting. This is called the uh, Two Brothers painting. And Father Flanagan contacted the artist named Mr. Von Hayho, and he did this original painting. And this is very special. It's the first time the, the two brothers had ever been represented for Boys Town. And in the image to the right, you'll see a red brick building. That was Father Flanagan's office. And then to the left was a representation of our Catholic chapel, the Dow Chapel. This two brothers image was re soon recreated on seals and Christmas cards and sent out all across the country and it became the known symbol for Boys Town. And in 1949, after Father Flang had passed away, this statue was created. It's our first representation of the two brothers in a statue form. It was donated by a firm from Texas and created by the artist named Mr. Ira Carell, who was a sculptor at Notre Dame University. And this statue stood in our village of Boys Town next to our visitor center from 1949 to 1973. And in 1973, it began to be damaged. Again, our extreme weather in the state of Nebraska, one winter he actually lost his nose. So our director at the time, Father Huff, said we need to preserve this statue. So it was brought inside, and the decision was made we'd have new statues created. And Father uh, Huff was very lucky that he was able to work with a company here in Omaha called the Leo Daly Company, and they agreed to create new statues, bronze statues. And they contacted an artist and selected Mr. Anzo Palazza, who was an artist in Italy, and asked him to create the new representation of the two brothers. And this new two brothers, would represent the children of modern Boys Town in 1977. So you can see that now the children have on tennis shoes and modern clothing, and the little boy doesn't have his floppy head. Uh, he has a head up uh, straight, and they have modern haircuts. So it's all done to be a modern representation of children as of 1977. And this statue was out on our grounds for many years. Uh, they're still actually on our grounds, too. We have them on display at our hospital here in the village, and we have it prominently displayed inside the Hall of History. And as we prepared for our centennial, we wanted to represent the fact that we had young ladies here at Boys Town and we served families. So we began a process of selecting a new artist to create a new uh, brand for Boys Town, a new modernization of our symbol. And we were out lucky we found an artist in Omaha named Mr. Matthew Plagic. And Mr. Plagic uh, was selected to create our Work Continue statue, and this is a representation of it. It's a beautiful statue, and it reflects the fact that we have young ladies here and we serve families. And to create this, we took our mayor, Anthony, uh, down to model, and along with several young ladies from our village. And from that, this special statue was created. And for our uh, anniversary, our 100th anniversary, we selected this to be our special piece of artwork. And it was dedicated in, J in uh, June of 19, uh, 2017. So we're very happy that it's here in our village. We have it on display in the Hall of History. And then throughout the village, it is also promptly displayed. And when visitors come to our Hall of History, they have the opportunity to see the entire brand history of Boys Town. 
We have it on display along this one wall here with our work continue statue all the way through to our, our original symbol, the homeless boy from 19, uh, uh, 1920. And this reflects the fact that Father Flanagan's belief Boys Town needed to evolve and to change and we carry on that mission of Father Flanagan. He often said Boys Town was a, was a home, not an institution, and it must evolve and meet the needs of children and families for the future. And we represent that through our brands here at Boys Town. And I'd like to invite everyone to come to our village. We're having our centennial celebrations that are taking place all throughout the rest of this year. And we're getting ready for our Christmas celebrations in the village too. So you're welcome to come visit us anytime. And thank you very much for joining us today. And I hope to see you soon in our village of Boys Town.